to talk more on this, uh, we have social commentator David Hondain. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Why do we keep encountering restructuring as the proposed way forward? Is it because we are fast running out of options? Uh, the, the very structure that we run in Nigeria that we've been running for 60 plus years itself, I think is, is reaching the end of its cycle. I think what has kept it going so far it was, was simply the fact that there was that much revenue coming in from crude oil sales to keep the whole sort of Ponzi scheme running. But now that that is no longer the case and that it's not going to be the case for the foreseeable future, then I think that's why it's becoming evident that we need to try something new. And that something new appears to be restructuring the entire uh, economy, the entire political system, the political economy as well, we, and even some cultural issues too. You, you agree that restructuring is quite a broad term. What in specific terms are we referring to when we talk about restructuring? You talked about the um, economy, uh, politics, and all of How are we going to go about this? What are the indices with which we can you know, begin to map things? So the basic, when people talk, when the, the concept we know as restructuring, the basic tenets of that concept are that we need to dismantle the unitary system that was introduced in 1966, the January 15 coup, and go back to a truly federalist system where the different federating units of the country, the states or the regions as it may be, are actually in control of their own economies. And then they actually they pay a royalty or a tribute to the central government. And that the central government is significantly weak, uh, weaker than what it is now, because presently the federal government in Abuja is, is like an emperor. So the premise of restructuring is that instead of keeping all the power centralized in Abuja and all the problems that come with centralization, disperse the power to the federating units, let everyone be in charge of their own destiny. So that killed many persons who to. Economically, that frees up the different regions to pursue their own vision of what their economic strategy should be. So for example, in the Southwest or in the Southeast, in the Southeast, they're, they're very big on trade and commerce. The Southwest, Southwest is something similar, but with a more uh, international outlook. So if the central government is no longer in charge of everything, that would mean that, for example, if you want to construct a rail line between Lagos and Enugu, currently the state governments in, in question are not allowed to fund it. They're not allowed to do that. If the NRC Act states that uh, the building of uh, of of uh, interstate rail infrastructure is on the exclusive list, it's only the federal government, that has the power to do it. So currently, the federal government doesn't allow you to do something, it doesn't get done. But if you restructure, that means that the federating units and the different regions have a lot more autonomy, have a lot more power to do these things. It also means that, for example, uh, stuff like law enforcement, the, 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 the regions or the states, as it may be, will have the power to, cre to, uh, to conceive and uh, create their own law enforcement units. So currently, we have the Nigeria Police Force, which is controlled from the force headquarters in Abuja. And that comes with a lot of problems as well. Because you might have someone from, someone from Gombe who is used to a particular way of doing things, posted to Lagos, and then policing the population there in a way that they are not used to, and that causes friction. So hypothetically, in theory, at least on paper, with restructuring, you avoid all these issues. So what, what that then does is that when everybody can develop at their own pace and live in the way that they want to, then that creates development, that creates stability, that creates peace. And in theory, at least, that enables Nigerians to sort of come together in a way that isn't forced. Because okay. currently, I think we're, we're kind of like smushed together and a lot of people don't really like it. All right. So then that allows Nigerians uh, David, I'm afraid that's the much we can take. Uh, the conversation is All pretty right. broad and we hope to get you back on the news as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Happy to know. Thank you.